it is literally flooding out here. The ocean is in front of your house. Homegirl was like, wait, what water? I was like, um, that was nothing but the devil because I should have said, thank you, girl. When you are lacking in preparation, you're inviting a state of emergency into your life. If you are really prepared, you could be way more spontaneous. Ladies and gentlemen, run, don't walk to Aldi. So as usual, I've thrown okay. off my own plans. Okay. Plans for this to be a totally hair day and I went grocery shopping. Wait. But, 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 hear me out, hear me out. I didn't go crazy and, and, look at my cart. <laughs> They bought this wagon at Walmart, I think. But he didn't know, and I didn't know that I would be using it for this. This is so freaking smart of me. Honestly, probably the best investment this year. So I guess let's get into what I got. White cheddar popcorn, cheddar sour cream, ruffles, salt and vinegar, kettle chips. If you haven't eaten any of the Clancy's brand chips from Aldi, just go ahead and try some and then come talk to me about them because let's talk. Mini cucumbers, some ballpark drinks, thinly sliced sirloin, Ground beef, uh, bottom round roast. Then this is top round roast. So the California medley, uh, green beans, rocket florets, sweet corn, chopped spinach, breasts, packs of thighs. 25 pounds worth of meat and all this together is $120 in 2023 at Aldi. Should do a beauty supply haul as well while we're here. Looking cheap a few packs of incense. This is my favorite scent from the beauty supply store. And then I got this and it was $3.99. Right now it's for me to put away dishes, put away groceries, get the kitchen clean so I can wash her hair and then get her ready. Cause I gotta do mine too. Listen, this is one of those things, like when you know yourself and you know what you need and you know who you are, you learn little things to do to make life a little bit more convenient for yourself. Like, I need a side bag because I'm not a put down the bag, pick up the bag type of girl. You put down the bag, you might not pick up the bag. That's the type of girl I am, okay? So I need a, it's gotta be a crossbody. And then, look at this, utility clip, like, where are my keys? They're right, they're right here. They're literally right here. Hands free, worrying about keys. I'm not putting my keys in the bag. I'm not digging in the bag for the keys. The keys are not lost. They're right here. Anytime I don't put them right here, I'm like, where the f are my keys? Literally, instantly. So being a girl like me who loses things, you gotta look for ways to like know where your stuff is. The, the main thing I'm working on now is not misplacing this phone when I'm alone. Cause who gonna call me? Oh, okay. Not to mention, and not for nothing. I've been doing good at keeping up with my phone ever since I started vlogging. There's a connection to be made. Hello. I am in the best food line I've ever seen in my life. I thought I was in like Publix or something. Have you ever seen a food line with Chinese food? Before church, it's only 10.30 a.m. y'all. You come grab you a quick meal. This is the type of shit that excites me as depressing as that might sound. Yeah, see, it looks so yummy. Sit down, please. Thank you, be safe. More pineapples? Save more, please. 
There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. How in the world does one get all of this, all of this, every bit of it? Free, you ask? Well, let me tell you a little story. Today I chose to Instacart and it was really unplanned because I don't know if you can tell, but I have 13 braids in my head. I started braiding my hair this morning and Kyra asked for pineapples and it dawned on me, oh my God, we don't have produce for the week. And um, I usually try to do my produce shopping early Sundays because that's when all the good stuff is put out fresh. I get an order at Aldi for $45. Y'all know that's my store, but Aldi for Instacart hits so different in the worst way. You have to bag your own groceries or, you know, pack it all in boxes, but they prefer bags for Instacart. Child. The items quantity was 68, 68 items. And the drive was 40 minutes. The only reason why I ended up doing this order was because it was $45 and I wanted to accept it really, really quick so that it wouldn't get taken. But if I had seen that 45 minutes before accepting it, I might would have let it slide. So I contemplated canceling the order because it was so far. But I was like, let me not cancel this order because I just, it would have been a lot of work to cancel it and it would have been a lot of wasted time. So I was like, F it, let me just go ahead. So, Got Kyra some McDonald's. Got myself McDonald's. By the way, McDonald's bathroom was so bad. It was horrible. We used the bathroom and um, got back in the car and started heading on. I used Google Maps and I looked at my route and it was a national flood warning in the area. Flood warning when you're in the Piedmont area of North Carolina is one thing. A flood warning when you're on the coast of North Carolina is a totally different beast. You would assume that, but seeing it is totally different. I get out to where I'm supposed to deliver. Is the reason why I'm not saying where it was. I get out to where I'm supposed to deliver and I'm talking about inches of water everywhere. Me and my little sedan just chug, chug, chugging along. So get up to the house. I called my customer. I said, listen, it is literally flooding out here. The ocean is in front of your house. I'm not gonna be able to make it up with these 68 items. I need some help. Sorry about the inconvenience. And she was like, oh, no worries. My husband is coming out right now. I had my flashers on and she calls me like three minutes later. She's like, hey, he went outside. He said he doesn't see you. I said, well, I parked up on the hill because I didn't want you to, um, you know, have to walk into 
the water and I didn't want to have to walk into the water. Plus I didn't want to sit my car in that water lest it float away. So homegirl was like, wait, what water? I was like, um, the ocean? She was like, huh? I said, I parked up here above Third Street. She said, Third Street? I said, okay, the address says blank, 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 East Third Street. She was like, oh my God. I said, what? She said, that's not my house. I was like, oh, well, whose house is it? She said, that's our beach house. I said, okay, so do you want me to just bring it to where you are? She was like, you might as well keep it. It's gonna be impossible. I said, I mean, I don't have a problem bringing it to you. She said, no, I live three hours away in Raleigh. I said, oh, okay. She said, is it possible for you to take it back? I said, I can try. She said, no, I just did the math. She said, to go back there from where you are, they're probably gonna be closed by the time you get back. You might as well just keep it. I was like, are you sure? That was nothing but the devil because I should have said, thank you, girl. But this angel was like, are you sure? And she was like, yeah, it's not your fault. It was super inconvenient on my part. I'm so sorry to inconvenience you and I really appreciate you. I'm gonna try to place the order real quick somewhere near us. I'm so sorry about that. And I was like, okay, thank you. Hey, thank you, happy holidays, all that good stuff. And she was like, you're so welcome. And thanks again, I'm so sorry. She was like super apologetic, kind of embarrassed, which I would have been too. And then she ends up sending me an additional tip. After, like her tip was already included in the price originally, the $45, but she sends me an additional tip of like $17. And I was like, wow. Like, so I, bas I basically got paid $60 to get free groceries. If that's, I mean, that's girl math, girl math. God is good, that's all I can really say. Big God, blessing.